good to be with everyone this evening in this hall and everyone at home. This is going to be a great week. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It is so fun to be back here in the United Center. And as you guys know, a lot of good stuff has happened in this building, especially in the 90s. You young people, Google Michael Jordan and you can read all about it, okay? So there was an amazing vibe in this building back in those days. And I feel that same winning spirit here tonight. Thank you, Chicago! Thank you, Chicago, for your energy. Thank you, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, for your vision. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Chicago, for your energy. Thank you, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, for your vision. And thank you, Joe Biden, for your leadership. I see freedom from fear and intimidation, from violence and injustice, from chaos and corruption. I see the freedom to look our children in the eye and say, in America, you can go as far as your hard work and talent will take you and mean it. And you know what? On the other side of that glass ceiling is Kamala Harris raising her hand and taking the oath of office as our 47th President of the United States. I ran for President in 2020 because of what I saw in Charlottesville in August of 2017. Extremists coming out of the woods, carrying torches, their veins bulging from their necks, carrying Nazi swastikas, and chanting the same exact anti-Semitic bile that was heard in Germany in the early 30s. Neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and the Ku Klux Klan, so emboldened by a president then in the White House that they saw as an ally they didn't even bother to wear their hoods. Hate was on the march in America. Calls America a failing nation. Now, I'm serious, th but think about this. Think about this. He publicly says to the whole world, I'm going to say something outrageous. I know more foreign leaders by their first names and know them well than anybody alive, just because I'm so damn old. But I'm not joking. Think of the message he sends around the world when he talks about America being a failing nation. He says we're losing. He's the loser. He's dead wrong. For me and Jill, we know Kamala and Doug are people of character. It's been our honor to serve alongside them. And we know that Tim and Gwen Waltz are also people of great character. Selecting Kamala was the very first decision I made before I became, when I became our nominee. And it was the best decision I made my whole career. She is good. Look. Thank you, Kamala. Thank you, Kamala. 